Okay. So all the outside is the sclera, all this white looking area. You usually find on the back here, that's the optic nerve. In the front, the cloudy looking part, it's normally not cloudy, that's the cornea. See a little eyelid on here, so that if we put a pin under that eyelid, we're looking at the conjunctiva. So you, have, you see the cornea like that on the test. The iris is the colored part of the eye. And then the hole is the pupil. And what you see back there in the back is the lens. Okay, stop again. Cornea, and the iris, the white part's the sclera. You have a pen right through the middle, that's the pupil. You flip that over. It looks like the underside of a mushroom. That's the ciliary body or ciliary muscles. Okay. I'm trying to get it there. We go. It's got little ridges. Ciliary body. All right. So if we come over here, I told you the outside, the white part is the sclera. Sometimes I like to cut the side off so you can see the black there. That's the choroid. So you can see the three distinct layers, the sclera, the choroid, and then in the inside, what we see in a second, will be the, the retina. And this part that I'm going to scoop out there, Oop. there we go, that's the lens connected to the vitreous humor or vitreous body. Now you can see the retina really nice, that tissue on the inside, and it all kind of pulls to this one little point in the middle. That is the optic disc where all the little fibers from the retina run out to go through the optic nerve on the back. All right. Okay, show it right there. The optic. Optic disc is this where all the tissue pulls to here. Sometimes you'll see the light. Yeah, you'll see the retina pulled back like this sometimes, but it will still be connected here to the optic disc. Okay.